first look at European competition here in Gears of War 4 yes. for eSport. Map. I'm so excited. It's the best of one as well, right? Yeah, so this is winner's take all. We, we heard from both squads a little bit of trash talk coming in. Both teams think they're better than the other one. Well, we're going to finally get ourselves an answer. It's going to be a best of one. Winner Foundation. This map takes it all. Foundation. Oh, my God. Going over to and that. And now we Love get to, then, then after this, you know, uh, we're going to see, you know, especially, you know, coming up in the upcoming weeks, you know, we get to see them uh, really more teams come from this region because you had London and Paris yeah. coming up like about two months apart from each other. Events on events on events, guy. It's going to be a wonderful, wonderful year if you're a Gizable fan because, uh, as you said, you can pretty much travel anywhere you want this year. Yeah. <laughs> if, you're, if you're a hardcore it's spectator, almost, you're going all, all across the world. You know, it's, it's, it's about an event every single month. <laughs> and it's, it, it is not for chump change. It ain't for pennies. That's exciting. That's so exciting. But as you said, Heading into our first match of the day. It's going to be Epsilon versus Vitality. Oh, this is going to be a good one, as you mentioned. Heading to Foundation. This is a winner-takes-all brawl for the first game and of so the evening. And so, one thing uh, that we're going to see, so for all you guys who don't know what Escalation, Escalation is going to be a round-based game type of uh, domination. You know, a team that gets to 210 first will win, or can three-cap the enemy team will win as well. And okay. the respawns will increase round per round, and it will be a halftime at round number seven. Uh, so respawns will be increased by two seconds every single time. But let's just hop, let's hop right into the match here. And we're going to see Epsilon break out here and get control over this B-Hill. And going to be on Epsilon Phelpsy right here. All right. On board with Phelpsy. And we'll see as uh, early on, it's going to be Epsilon to control a 2 to 1 point domination for, of course, A and B under the control. They're looking to try and capture that C, as you mentioned as well, Guy. It is first at 210 points, but you can also win by dominating all three hills. Nah, yeah, you, d you definitely can here. And we're going to have a relatively close match here to start this off. On the board here with uh, Zorks. Now, excuse me if I pronounce any of these guys. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> roll right here. Um, I'm glad you said it, because I was planning on saying that as well. Yeah, Zorks, okay. <laughs> we're, we're rolling with it. I, I think you should probably, you know, for the Vitality guys, add a little bit of French for that. Yeah, French play, I can't do that. Oh, I, I believe. I don't have the accent like you do. Oh, I, I, me? Yeah. Well, I can say bonjour, and that's about it. <laughs> that's but, what uh, my French accent does. Ash was the player that replaced Reaction on Epsilon. Okay, all so, right. Yep, so he was the player that replaced Reaction on Epsilon. And we're going to see if he can make a, you know, make this team come out and actually get that win against Vitality. I, I feel like I have to ask you, right? If there's a player who has a shot in the game named after I mean, surely that's a bold move, right? Yeah. You're replacing someone who seems like kind of goat level. Mm -hmm. I mean, is that something that you think is going to pay off there? Uh, you know, we really don't know how the drama is. We don't know how, how he left, how he got replaced, but he is the replacement on his squad. Okay. And uh, I agree with you. You got a shot, Dave, after you should have, uh, <laughs> you know, they hurt a little bit. Right? Like, uh, I'm just saying. A man. global shot. Right? Uh, you got North Americans out there using it too. Well, we'll have to see, of course, how that roster change pans out. For now, it is going to be Epsilon that do have that lead, 125 to 104. So by no means is it a dominating one. It can definitely change. As you actually see, uh, the A-Hill is actually being heavily contested. It was Vitality that jumped on it for a moment before Epsilon seems that they should be good to capture that one. So the 2 to 1 hill advantage will stay in Epsilon's favor. And so Jails is, he's not going to make that up right there. On board once again with Zorks. He has his B-Hill right in front of him. He has guys to his right and his left. And they really want to push him. But he actually pushed out. And he's not going to be able to get that kill. So we're going to have Epsilon keep control over B. They're going to be about 50 seconds away from winning it. And we're going to have to see Vitality step it up here and at least try to play for this home hill. And I love that push coming in from D2 from Vitality. Just trying to put a little bit of extra pressure in. He is going to pick up that win as well. That's going to be Phelpsy. He manages to shut down. You can see those players coming off spawn. He oh. once again can try to apply the pressure. This may be a little oh. bit too much. Well, versus two. He will get the down. Goes for the meat shield. But unfortunately, not going to be able to find the second. It was, a, it was That was a good commotion right there. He just needed help from his teammates, but that did allow his teammates to break B. But in that process, Epsilon rotated up top and capped Vitality's home hill. So they still remain on the two caps about four seconds from the end, and Vitality will not come out. Yep. Oh, it's oh. broken. Oh, but yeah, there you no, go. You're, yeah, you're, wasn't you're, you're good. You're good. It was, they were decapping, <laughs> but did not have enough team. And Vitality, Epsilon, sorry, once again, Epsilon will come out with round number one. Yep, fantastic uh, closing. Moments there for Epsilon just managed to secure that win. A quick look at the scoreboard. and You see uh, Hydron up there eight. with six kills. I there was someone on there with eight as well. That was a very impressive first round coming in from uh, the Epsilon squad. Now we get to our first weapon placement, the first one I've seen from Europe. Uh, we've seen a couple of cancels come out. Uh, okay, I respect it. Yep. The, the, the kind of blocking foundations and welding. Is that something you're particularly a fan of on, the, on this map? Uh, and, you know, I, I am. So we see a lot of these teams, and we, we explained a little bit more in Columbus, that we see teams, they block that 
that welding in that fountain spot where mm -hmm. you can put double weapons, which usually is just double nades, double sniper, or some support weapons. And on this map, it's usually used for instance to okay. keep control over that B hill. So teams, we see them blocking off early on because those flame grenades is a nuisance. Even also with some of the good best, good snipers in this game, it's a nuisance to have two snipers on the map as well. Very true. Uh, on board now with, with Hydrant. We'll see if he's going to be able to do some damage towards this B hill. It is a two versus two, but unfortunately, Ash will fall. Now it's going to be up to Hydrant to try and do the work himself. He's going to be pretty tagged up. I expect him to potentially fall, and it's going to be Gel who does clean up. Looking for one more potentially, though. He has a teammate in support, and that's just fantastic play from him. He will be able to get that pick on Craze, and more importantly, the B Hill now going under the control of Vitality. Yes, it will. And Vitality, this is about the first time right here. We've seen him get control over two hills to start this game. They played behind last time, most around, and we're going to see them work together. We're going to see them work together here, and they're going to be patient. And this is, looks like they want a two cap setup. They see, they're getting call outs up top where most of the members of Epsilon is going. Epsilon is playing for the home hill, and that's why we're going to see D2 drop back right here. He's going to get into the fight here with Hydro. He's seeing him. He's been very, very patient. Looking for help from his teammates. Smoke's going to go out. They're going to back up. They did not, was not able to cap oh. the home hill, but now they will get it. And he's going to drop back, trying to help his teammate out as 1v2, and they will control this, uh, I like to call it the home street. Yep, uh, they got a home. Oh, I, I like that because it's both. It's, yeah, yeah, the, the yo, street from both yo, home you, hills. We get you, that you, a lot of. Yeah, yo, you're pretty, you're pretty smart, bro. I gotta be an innovator yo, here, man. I like it's it, early man. Stages. Right. Well, we're we're naming that home I'm street from now on. I'm trying to get a shot named after me. Yeah, as well. Well, we could we can name it the the, the Blaze Street or the Guy Street. We can you, you pick a street, bro. You know like what? you know what, Vincent? I like how you yeah. think. Dude, we can we can be as creative as we want. Uh, looking over at Hydro's perspective right now, though, he is over at that B Hill. He has the support of his team, so this should be relatively easy to keep under control for Epsilon. But looking at that score, you can see just how close this round actually is. It's 112 to 106. Good swing either way. Uh, pretty surprised we haven't seen too much pressure applied onto the map in, in terms and of trip cap, but this could be actually where we see it now. Four plays down. And so they're going to be pushing across right now. So. But they know where they know where B King is. I thought they was gonna push for the home hill, and that's exactly what they did. Wasn't expecting I gotta go under, but that's the flank that he wanted. <laughs> and he's gonna regroup with his teammates and Vitality. They're in a desperate push for the B Hill, trying to put some pressure. They're trying to put they're trying to focus the fight away from their home hill, and that's exactly what we see D2 doing. And he's gonna use his opportunity to go decap the home hill, but he has one guy in front of him. He's gonna miss that shot and he's gonna decap it just a little bit, but not fully, and that hill will be recapped. Uh, and that was unfortunate. You saw him try and make the play, he recognized pressure was gonna come in on his home flag. He originally went over to B to see if he could apply pressure on that side of the map. Realized it was just not going to happen. He was in one versus two. Tried to rotate over towards Epsilon's home point, but sadly, you know, did end up falling. But Epsilon looking very, very good with a 193 to a 151 lead. It's currently a two hill to one advantage in their favor. They should be able to close this one out, despite maybe something crazy happening, but you have Hydrant on your screen. There's one looking for two. Can he close out with some style? Unfortunately, not going to be able to find the second, but it doesn't matter. Epsilon now find themselves 2-0 up in the series. Uh, he was doing good. You know, they really couldn't connect with him. Uh, they really couldn't, you know, connect with those fights. But, hey, uh, he did a good job right there holding off an Epsilon. We're going to see them edge out here. And so looking at the weapon selection process, we're going to have, looking like they want to do snipe. We saw the snipe up here a few times. Maybe, oh, wow, I thought Torque maybe they were considering the old, uh, the old boom, but talk. Uh, we, we actually saw that as well from Envious. Envious kind of uh, on this map specifically. They're like putting kind of talk up there. Are you, you a fan of that? You're, you kind of, I, I, I'm looking in your eyes. You seem a little bit indecisive as whether that was a good or bad play. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm fine with the twerk bow uh, across map because it's going to draw some extra attention over here towards that, those A and C hills. Mm -hmm. and, you know, take less focus away from B. And even if somebody is able to cap B, they can use those bows across map to uh, assist in the fight. For sure. In actual fact, you have Epsilon just give it up. Epsilon really more than happy to say, all right, if you want talk, you can go play for talk. They actually send two players directly down towards B. One player drops straight through bottom middle and converge on B as well. That's exactly why uh, Epsilon have enough to control that B hill, and they will finally get it locked in and cement that 2-1 to one advantage. But unfortunately, though, by giving up that home street, you know, that the, the one was for you, by giving up home street, they will lose both control of uh, A and C. Yes, they will. And, you know, that was a good job there. They just said, hey, we're going to take Torvo, we're going to play for this home hill, and then we can kind of drop back and take the neutral hill a little bit later on. But didn't work out for them. And Epsilon is still in full control here, and they're finally going to take this lead just by a second or so. And now the domination may be... Not coming in, the B Hill did get contested there by Vitality. And Vitality is actually gonna push Phelpsy out and regain control over their home hill. So Vitality will probably edge this lead back out in their favor. And uh, Phelps is giving a lot of respect there to Vitality. He recognized, hey, you know, I'm at numbers here. I don't wanna try and make the flashy play. I'll just cap it and get back, wait for some team support, and maybe try and think about re-pushing over towards C. And for now though, it's gonna be Zorkos on your screen. And so he's gonna be defending B here for the Vitality squad. 
has numbers as we go over towards D2, and you can see just from his perspective, three players from Epsilon putting a lot of pressure down here at B. They know they're going to need to cap this. So it stands to so stay like this, Vitality would win this round. Yes, they would. And we're here right now with Zorx. <laughs> he almost got flanked, but his teammate is actually going to save home. This is a dead even game. They can't let any of their players go down right here. He needs to actually back up, and he will die. Yeah, he's still alive, actually. He's just kind of watched his teammate die. Oh, he, he's like, he like bro, oh, no, 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 Zorkos, no, no, no Zorkos. Wow. Zorkos, bro, come on. Wow. We're, we're better than that. Craze out there winning a we, big one. We hit two. those, right? Yeah, exactly, right? That's what I'm saying. Craze, I mean, he just straight demoralized my at that B hill. That's, you, you have to win that. I mean, you can't just sit and watch your teammate lose a 1v1, not trade, and then get 1v1 yourself. Oh, unfortunately, of course, that will be Vitality losing control of B. And you may actually see Craze make a big play here, but unfortunately, he will go down if they were able to get control of B there with a potential trip cap on the cards. Epsilon could have won this round. That's in fact here. Could be that domination coming in. B, you have players that Gel needs to jump onto decap. He will. And he also gets the pick. Nicely done. That, of course, is going to be on Ash. Looking to potentially pick up Phelps. Phelps is going to run straight through that smoke. Needs to be careful, though, because that decap could be huge for Epsilon right now, guys. Yes, it can be. Oh. <laughs> Phelps is going to shut that down. And he's going to come in here and cap, cap the B heal. But Vitality will get control over their home heal across map at C. And that's going to be D2 right there. Good jump, Cam Mac. That was a, a very, very clutch cap there on that C hill. And you can see, just look at that mini map, a couple of players now uh, from the Vitality squad deciding to head over towards B rather than put pressure on A. The problem is they're going to need to now go for that trip cap. They can't afford to play two to one because as it stands, Epsilon could just have that one hill under the control and they would still win as you can have a look at that scoreboard on the top left. 193 to 167. And it just seems to me Vitality just being a little too slow. They finally put the resources over towards B, but there's eight seconds left in the game as it stands. They need to put that pressure on A, at least go for the decap, but they didn't send anyone over there. No, they did. They definitely didn't send anybody over there at all, and they were not able to make that happen. And Epsilon coming out once again with round number three. And, and that was such a strange decision from Vitality. You can recognize, you know, the, the time is ticking down. You have a couple of players off respawn. You have to at least send one person on the OE that's to, to at least neutralize. You may not even have to necessarily cap it, but you neutralize it. Maybe you cause a little bit of a ruckus. You wait for your team to get there in support. Then you can potentially try and lock down that trip cap that you would need. As it stands, though, it will be Epsilon with a 3-0 advantage. And, I mean, <laughs> crazy. Top, 18 crazy, kills. Yeah. All right, Craze, we, we get it. You're a big deal, okay? <laughs> like, Craze is like, yo, you're talking about shots. Why don't you make a Craze shot? And, you know, you see uh, the anchor down there with only 24 seconds dead here in three rounds. I actually think that's pretty good. You got 24 it's seconds impressive. dead in three rounds, and the game starts off with a 10-second respawn. You know, yeah, he's only been dead about twice. You know, that's got to be, be their support player there on the squad. Their anchor kind of watching those home heals and just rotating around the map. And on board here with D2, putting some shots in, uh, and they're going to have to come out. Oh, crazy. Don't and do Phelps, it. don't do it oh, to him. Oh, Phelps, has he managed to get away as well? He has. He's very, very weak, but he's managed to get that pick and also escape. Now putting down some uh, shots with, with the lantern. But besides, hey, no, this isn't going to be a fight. I really fancy. And he's going to backtrack over now towards A. Should be able to recap this, and they should be able to control home street as well. Yes, they will. On board here with Phelpsy, and he's going to hold this home hill down. He's going to have a 1v1 in front of him. He gonna, drop oh, back. He, didn't, he didn't cap it. Oh, unsure whether that was potentially a bit of a mistake. He did recognize he that he was alive. outnumbered. Yeah, playing, playing for his life. Respect that decision. But where is his team support? Of course, as the game goes on, you have a longer respawn delay. Something to bear in mind. It does get a little scary in the latter rounds when you're kind of last alive, knowing that you have to go for your squad. Yeah, we're on an 18 second respawn right now. Actually, I think that we're on a 16 second respawn. And Jails. Put us, some, put us some crossfire in there. His teammate needs to get in there and clean up these kills. And we're going to see Vitality pick up two kills right here. They're doing a great job wolf packing and working together. And this should be when you go, right? You, you've got a couple of picks. There's two players from uh, uh, Epsilon down. You have Ash and Sam both down. You need to apply that pressure and potentially try and get a couple of kills off spawn. But unfortunately for Vitality, Epsilon respond with two picks of their own. And you can see it's like, oh, guys, abandon, abandon ship. We ain't going we ain't going to see. Just try and hold this two cap as long as we can. But it may actually uh, have been a little bit of a detrimental push coming in from them. They've lost B. B now neutral. Epsilon again picking up a ton of kills. You see that in the kill feed there at the bottom left. They should be able to now get control of B. But the push again from Hydron is going to come in. He has the support of a team. It's actually going to be a two versus two momentarily. Is he going to actually push this? He's waiting for his team to go for the cap. Those um, incense. The incense coming out close, like you mentioned earlier on. You can use those incense in so many different ways. Yeah, he used to kind of block off the ramp, block off that push. Vitality, they did a good job once they won that B here, but when they went for their opponent's home heal, 
one of those guys should just really plant at their feet and just lance her and just kept, kept, you know, just suppress the enemy team and just kind of focus some of the fire. But they, you know, head down, shot he's out, and they hit the, you know, retreat right there. But they're going to actually come in, whoop packing it once again. Three members in there in that heal, and Kraz came in, taking out one. He looks like he wants another one. He's staying. He isn't backing away. You see him just bouncing from wall to wall. Unfortunately, though, he will ultimately fall. That's going to be D2 that cleans him up. And as it stands, it is going to be Vitality that have the lead this round. 167 to 151. They have a 2 to 1 hill advantage. They have numbers as well in their favor. This is momentarily a 5 versus 3. You expect to see them back down towards B. They have done just that, but they need to now keep control of C. This is looking like it could be a very, very good round for Vitality. But right now, D2, he should be pushing this C hill. Put some pressure down on it. You have the numbers in your favor. You could just won the round right there. You know, with, with, with the score being 190, they, they decided to play a safe play for time, make sure they at least hold one of these heels down, and that's exactly what they did. And they're going to come out with their first round one here, and that's going to be for them. All I'm saying is, in Columbus, man, we saw teams lose rounds just like that. When they when they could smell blood, yeah. they didn't go for the throat. You never know, man. Gears of War 4 is a very, very crazy, crazy eSport. You can turn things around at the flick of a switch or a blink of an eye, but that will be Vitality uh, winning the first round here uh, on our first fight of the night. Of course, it's our European show match, Epsilon versus Vitality. Now we go over to the weapon placement. First time we've seen Epsilon uh, drop anything. Are any of their players specifically known for anything, or could this just be kind of a, a box stand? In fact, there's a sniper rifle. Yeah, they're going to they're gonna get their sniper rifle that they won't. You know, we've seen a lot of these teams. They stand away from the drop shots. They stand away mm -hmm. from the boom shots because they know that if they can't if they can't fully control them, mm -hmm. then we're not going to put them on the map. So where we saw the instant that on top of the B hill, that's usually where we see boom go okay. because in earlier rounds, that's where a lot of the focus is. So you have a better chance of winning that team fight. Uh, but it's going to be, you know, occupied by incense right there. So I think if you're going to see him stay away from the boom shot most of the time here, we might see it in the second half. All on board with Phelps for now. It's a uh, support of his teammate. So he's going to try and force this. It's Craze that comes wow. in. And Craze is just slaying absolutely everyone. So many kills come down. And you bear in mind that respawn delay is high as it is at this point. You could see a potential trick come wow, in. Wow, it's a white five there. dead. That's, that's, that's a full white. Like you said, someone's going to hop on C. And all Craze needs to do here is potentially play for a D2 off spawn. And that is going to be the round. Yeah, and he's not going <laughs> to come out there just in time. So, four to, four to, four to one. Four to one, and these respawn timers, they're going to be 20 seconds this round. <sighs> Dominating performance so far from the uh, UK squad of Epsilon. Of this, is when, this is when the game turns into to execution. Your initial right. play, your initial push is so critical. You can't run out there with your head cut off. You know, you can't run out there and just be fighting things saying, hey, I got a respawn. You do, but it's a 20-second respawn. You cannot put your <laughs> teammate in a bad position there. Because that's when I, I feel like vitality may come into effect. We've seen in the early rounds, as you kind of pointed out, when they're playing as a pack, they're able to trade those kills a little bit more efficiently and effectively. So if they're able to do that with a high respawn, they can win. Take a look. We've got four people actually. Think they're going to be coming down in vitality. They haven't had anybody get down to B yet. They're finally going to get two members towards the B hill area. And they're being very, very patient. That's that numbers advantage that you have. It can kind of funnel down uh, Epsilon into exactly where you want. And those gunfights, as you mentioned, are going to be so crucial. D2 needs to win that. Not going to be able to do so. I believe uh, that's going to be a pickup as well uh, for Epsilon. So they will still have the numbers advantage. Craze just immediately. He's no nonsense kind of guy. <laughs> Trying to take it straight to gel. Luckily, though, it will be picked up. That was Phelps that managed to win that one. As you can see, straight off the bat, only one Vitality player up. It's going to be Zorkos. And you just you don't really expect him to try and defend that eight point all by himself with these high respawns. And that's one thing. So this is a prime example as we talk about different strategies from different regions. Mm -hmm. They sent four players down the middle of the map. Both teams did that. And from there, they kind of branched off. American teams, what we see American teams do a lot, we see send two players down the B ramp, mm -hmm. down that ramp off the side and two down the middle, and they have one guy capped their home hill, you're keeping less players out the out the range of fire. Yeah, you know, it, they, it, it makes sense, it's right? More, it's more cover over mm -hmm. there. So what we saw, we saw the four players go down mid-map, and they broke off in the little cubbies to the left and the right, and they kind of stayed there and lanced a little bit because they was taking too much damage. Yep. And, you know, and of course, at the same time, you have more players focusing you. Mm -hmm. So let's say Vitality right there. They sent two players down a B ramp while Epsilon sent four down the middle. They would have easily got towards those incidents without too much without being contested. They could have took over that whole B area, and they would have had one guy with full health just come around the middle of the map and catch any players off guard. So definitely could have been a different round, that's for sure. And this is halftime now. Yep, so of course our hills will flip their positions. We now have D, E, and F. And uh, our home street is no longer our home street. That's why we're going to see our neutral E hill. 
Um, speaking of our neutral E hill, it's going to be crazed. The slain animal right now, 22 kills, 13 downs. Only 171 seconds uh, dead as well. It's kind of been impressive. But in the early parts, it will be Vitality controlling F. And it looks as if for a moment there they will get D. In actual fact, they will. You actually have, ironically enough, D2 over there. Yes, we will. And Vitality, you know, D2, well, D2, he's going to be holding down his home hill. So this is good. So now, as we called it before, that home street has changed that opposite of the map. And you can see oh, look from Russia. They're coming in hot. <laughs> That's four They're coming players. in hot. But Vitality has four guys here. This is this is this is actually working out in their favor, having four guys defend his home field. They know Epsilon is gonna come out of spawn and play for play for D. So they got four guys there. Usually with most teams we would have seen more people spread out. Mm -hmm. But they said, hey, if we know how many is dead, we know exactly what they're where they're spawning. No point even having anybody sit back towards our home hill area. Mm -hmm. That's just push up and kind of take and these guys that, that's fine. And that's something that you're not really going to see in your longer respawn rounds. Like, that, that kind of four-man push from Epsilon off spawn, that's never going to work. Because yeah. if you lose those gunfights like we just saw, it, you know, that had been in, you know, the next couple of rounds of longer respawns, it would have been a trip cap 110%. No, it definitely would have been. And Craze, you know, just to comment on what he did right there, he just kind of just locked down that whole neutral hill by himself at E. And he's going to give Epsilon that two cap. But they are still down here about a good 20, 20, 20 or so seconds. And Vitality, they need to get it together here. But I'm thinking they may go for another D push. I mean, it worked, right? He, they kind of had that locked down for uh, around about 20 seconds. So they kind of know exactly what they're going to need to do. Meanwhile, there is a big fight going over at E. It's going to be Ash. The new Mountain Squad seeing if he can potentially lock this down himself and go straight for the meat shield. Big, big wins coming in from Epsilon here over towards E. Sam, now on your screens. He's going to get shut down, but he may actually be able to get res. It's going to be Hopsy over there who uh, will be able to pick him up. So nicely played from Epsilon as they slowly chip away at the lead Vitality event. Yes, they will. And Epsilon, they're, they're, they're coming back in and they're almost at the tie. But there you go. Once again, Vitality, they play for that D push. They play for the opposite home hill. Once they know where all the Epsilon members are on the map, and if they know it's a big fight going on over there at E, just have one or two guys go over there and uh, secure you, you know, that, that extra T-cap. That was a big, big win as well coming in from Zorkos. Of course, they did have numbers, but we've seen a couple of 1v2s already in our first fight of the night. I uh, go potentially the other way, or the way yeah. they definitely shouldn't have done so. And they didn't have nobody defending their home hill over there, so that's why they lost in. Point. Boom! <laughs> Zork is going to be taking out Phelpsy right there. He didn't he didn't see it coming. And D hill, so Epsilon's going to come back and take their home hill. You know, we're just seeing both these teams there rotate. One's Cap and F, and they bring E. You know, we're not really seeing, seeing no defining fights right here for a three cap. Uh, and for Vitality, that is not going to be good enough because it's Epsilon who had that lead. They're now just nine seconds away from picking this round up. Shots going down. Is anyone in Vitality in a position to try and go for a contest on both these two hills? Doesn't look like they're going to be able to do so. And Epsilon, once again, secure another round. But now just one round away from taking the first match of the night. And you, you kind of talk about that round in, in a bigger picture there, Guy. I feel like Vitality had full control for, for so long. Like the early parts of that round, they were in control. They had that home streak fully under lock, but sadly just couldn't hold it down in a lot of parts of the round. No, they definitely they, they, they definitely couldn't hold it down. Uh, they play, they, they won a lot of good fights, but once again, it's that, it's that wolf pack factor, right? They, yep. they run around with four people, run around three deep, and then even after they get control over certain heels, they're still all staying there together, and they're leaving themselves vulnerable in other parts of the map. Well, looking at this round, of course, now as we mentioned, it's Epsilon really at match point. We'll see if they're going to be able to close this one out uh, on board with Pac. Oh, we'll say Pi, right? Or I feel like that could be like physical. There's so many different things, man. Game tags can be so, so complex. I love game tags. What was your, what was your first ever game tag? Was it, was it Guy Blaze? Abby Blaze 04. Yeah, hey, there you go. Yeah, you <laughs> had those digits. Yeah, Abby Blaze 04 was my very, very first gamer tag. Nice. I respect it. I respect it. Uh, staying on board with. I'm, I'm just saying. Five. Everybody had an old phone. Oh, not an old phone. I was an old phone. I was a 100. 100? I want to be different, dude. I just want to be different. I, I had to be. It, it was either birthdays or like, you know, year you graduated or, you know, whatever it was. Something. Yeah, uh, you have numbers in your name, that's for sure. <laughs> mine was neither of those. <laughs> uh, as you said, Epsilon, uh, one round away from taking the first fight of the night. But more importantly, they do have the lead as well. 63 to 45. They have two hill to one advantage. F and E fully in control. But there is going to be a big fight over towards E. I believe they're actually going to be outnumbered over at that side. You see Ash actually fall. Uh, Craze and Phelps are both picking up a couple of kills before Craze was traded out. So E, as you can see on that top left, currently going to be contested. It's going to be V King over there looking to go big for the squad. Is he going to be able to? Doesn't look like it for now. Just trying to stay alive. Of course, now with the two versus one, you expect the push to come through. And the cleanup crew from D2. Shut down Phelps. Yes, they will. Oh. And close game in B King. 
uh, just showing them, hey, you know, what's up? Nice to meet you. My, na my name is B-King. And so Vitality, they, they got control over two of these points, and they need to be patient. Uh, I see like these guys are going for three caps, but it's, it's not working out in their favor. This is they, they seem like to be more of a two cap team. You know, get your, get get both of your heels yep. and set up along the 50 point of the map towards the middle. And they should be calling this. They should be screaming this push out. There's three guys coming. And we're gonna see Phelps. He check their flank to see if they're gonna get snaked by anybody, but they won't be. So smokes was used, and we see the push cross map. So they they wanted to play for D, and they said nope, change of plans. And that initial shift is gonna get them control over that E hill. Looking at Craze now. As you mentioned, that E is gonna be just Craze. Can he win this? It's a big one. Not gonna be able to do so. It's actually gonna be Gel that cleaned out Craze, but Simon Phelps is there to trade. So he will clean up those picks, and you can see E still looking as if it could go in favor of Epsilon as it stands. It's a 157 to 149 game. Just D and F under control. E still being heavily contested. Zorkos trying to do what he can here, but it's gonna be Hydro and pushing in as finally by Council lose control of E. If it stays like this, this is gonna be Epsilon winning the map. No, it definitely will be. These guys are, you know, Epsilon, they, they, they came out. Oh, they saw them in the video. They said they were just going to dominate. And that's what we've seen so far. These guys just purely dominating. They, they're not messing around. Uh, once again, though, we see that pressure come in for that trip cap. It is going to be thwarted, though, as Jal now puts pressure over towards E. Is he going to be able to go big here? He has the support of a teammate, but it's not going to happen. In comes Sam from behind. Epsilon will be able to keep their hands on E for now, but we could see a potential big contest. Not going to happen. It was all down to Zorkos. He isn't going to be able to do it, and Epsilon will take the first fight of the night. Yes, they will. Epsilon showing that, you know, they are one of the best out there, if not the best out there in the EU region. And so Epsilon winning 7-1. I feel like that was a very dominating performance.